According to Global Americans, an independent think tank, the future of refineries in Latin America and the Caribbean is complex, facing both challenges and opportunities. With Trinidad and Tobago planning for the reopening of the Pointe Pere refinery, let's look at the future of refineries in the region. The global shift towards cleaner energy sources is reducing demand for traditional refined petroleum products. As growing awareness of climate change prompts more people to adopt sustainable consumption habits. This is leading to lower refining margins, which is the difference between the value of the refined product and the cost of the crude used to produce the refined products and the potential mothballing of older, less efficient facilities. While the region has a growing interest in biofuels and other low-emission alternatives, such as green hydrogen, which could displace some traditional refining activities, political stability, economic sanctions, and changes in global oil markets can also affect the viability of the region's refineries. Increasing environmental awareness and regulations are also leading to greater pressure on refineries to reduce emissions and adopt more sustainable practices. Meanwhile, significant upstream discoveries in Guyana, Brazil and other regional territories are leading to increased crude oil production. But underinvestment in refining capacity can increase the need for imported refined products. Refineries are likely to adapt to this evolving situation by focusing on the production of low-carbon fuels, such as biofuels and hydrogen, or by incorporating renewable energy into their operations. Existing refineries may be forced to undergo revamping projects to improve their efficiency and profitability, potentially focusing on producing higher value products or adapting to changing feedstock requirements. Refineries may explore collaborations with other industries such as the petrochemical sector to create integrated energy systems and enhance efficiency. The region's abundant renewable energy resources could enable the development of low-cost, low-emission hydrogen production, which could be used in refining and other industries. Overall, the future of refineries in Latin America and the Caribbean will be shaped by the interplay of oil and gas production growth, evolving energy markets, and the global push for net zero emissions. This is Evolving